you need to be tall in basketball. But I believe that being tall in basketball is not everything. With strong mentality and discipline, it gives you a lot of courage to play against taller people. You're just going to fight your way through. You're just going to endure it. My name is Wong Wei Long, and I'm one of Singapore's finest. Push! Go, go, go! On the court, I'm Wei Long. I just play hard. I just want to compete. I played a stern role. This role is called point guard. We are the one who establish play for our teammate while handling the ball, while handling the pressure. We have to speak out to our teammates. We have to do it well because we are the last man. Our teammates will always be in front of us. So if my ball got stolen, there will be a fast breakdown at the opposite end. So our role is very important. When I'm dribbling up the court, when I'm manoeuvring, I always have to keep my eyes up. I have to dribble with confidence because if the defender knows that you aren't confident, they are going to give you a lot of pressure and you have to know how to handle it. Three, one. Well, he's the smallest guy in the national men's team, but he plays with so much heart. He's a maestro. He can move so well with the ball. He creates so much chances for his teammates and he's just a leader on the court. Are you confident in getting C games? Yeah, you might have to go medal. Wanted to get a better colour. Just gonna play our best. I was eight when I first started picking up basketball with my dad. I was at the neighborhood basketball court. There's one day he actually made in three consecutive half court shots that actually amazed me. That's when I started wanted to learn more about basketball. From then I started playing competitively um, in school and I get better each day. Uh, my, with my dad's guidance, I get to shoot better. I practice almost every day. I play like six hours to seven hours a day. My practice ground will be at Bishan Hot. It's just underneath my block. I play there every day. Play there since 3 p.m. all the way to 9 p.m. at night. We play basketball, taught by my, my dad. And she was only 12 years old. So he was not that tall. <laughs> so I made use of that and then I so-called bully him in that sense. So ultimately, that's how I think he built out his strength to overcome the weakness. So from there, I think he started to build out his muscles and then he started to grow, so on and so forth. And then he worked really, really very hard in terms of the basketball career. In the finals, I played against this Singapore American school student. He's about 198 centimeter. He towers me 26 cm. Everybody was just surrounding me. It was packed with like about thousands of people watching me and the guy playing. I was just trying my luck, trying to follow him because he's so tall, and trying to use my strength to push him, to push his legs. I can only smell his butt and then uh, got a couple of fouls, and then he couldn't make some of the free throws. I got a win. The score was 9-7, and the crowd was hooray, hooray, because I was so small as compared with him, like so tall. 
So that was the greatest experience that I ever had. And from then, and that's where I got called for the national under-18 squad team. When we first got here you know, some seven years ago was to help the national team uh, more relevant again and improve their standards. We're not as uh, big as most of the other teams, but we play well as a team. And I think that's shown over the last four years we've had some pretty good results. Curl doesn't have it. Come up, come up. Nice. Back pass. Drop the off. It's a small place, so you quickly learn who the key players are. He's going to come through here. You dribble there to take the pressure off that bang, bang, bang. The problem then becomes is uh, their commitment to the sport. Whether it be study, whether it be a national service or other things, that can not always enable players to make themselves available. Study is such a big thing here that sometimes players just decide, look, uh, there's not that big a future in basketball financially, maybe, not yet. So better to concentrate on the, uh, the studies and the sport. So we lose some players to that. One more time. Stagger. Get the current call. Let's go. Let's Sometimes go. we only have eight at practice because players have exams or national service commitments. But no excuses. We adjust. And when Wei Long, he's been fantastic. Wei Long is, is a focal point on, on the team. He runs all the action, and he's probably one of the more vocal leaders on the team as well. When a cross pin happens, it's very tough for you to pass. He's aggressive, very aggressive. Uh, he's a very, he's very competitive. My biggest concern with him is he's uh, doing too much. He needs to make sure that he, he handles his time management in a way that he gets enough rest and he doesn't put himself at risk to burn out. Let's go on four. Good. There he is. Now you go. Bang, that's good. Look at it. OK, dribble off. Good. That's it. Good. A lot of people say it's not easy to survive playing true sports. It's not going to be your career. I'm going to turn it into a business. I'm going to work even harder. I'm going to prove to people that sports will be a career in the near future for Singapore, in Singapore. Sikkim is coming up 2015, but yeah, I will never stop working.